hey you guys welcome back to my channel hope you are having an amazing day so you guys have been asking what are some renter friendly solutions that can be done and this is the first project that I have started to work on I'm going to leave Jamila's name down below if you guys are interested you're in the Atlanta area and you're looking for some mill work you can definitely hit her up but we're gonna go ahead and get started so you can see the process of how all of this came along. Let's go. As we jump into this transformation, I wanna go ahead and give a huge thank you to Jamila of another DIY project because she came out last minute. As you guys saw last week, I had boxes and still have boxes pretty much all around the house. There is like no shelving. There's no bookcase, there's nothing. And if you guys remember, I had so many home decor pieces and I did not want them living in boxes for the next year and a half. And so I wanted to figure out a way to incorporate the pieces in the home, but also not doing anything too crazy. In my definition, this isn't too crazy. And again, I'll explain it towards the end why I consider this to be a great option if you're renting. So right now, what me and Jamila are doing are taking in inventory of the wall, the sizing, and placement, and also the studs. Prior to this, we already did all the markings for the studs so we knew where everything was going to land and position. Of course, we're using the level to make sure everything is going to be leveled out. Everything was built from scratch from the shelving to the box and every single piece of this. Once we got everything in place, Jamila went on ahead and started to screw the framing of the floating shelves into the studs in the wall. And once we got the first actual framing around, I took the largest piece of home decor to figure out placement and spacing of how the shelvings were going to be positioned on the wall. So we did a lot of very small markings. If you're gonna be marking on your wall, I highly recommend using a pencil. With a pencil, you can go in and simply erase and you can paint over it. You will not have the same success if you use a marker or if you use a pen, it tends to bleed through the paint and then it's a whole process of trying to do that. So I highly recommend using a pencil. Now we're gonna be going in with the second shelving unit. As you can see, we're using two by fours and the two by fours have frames coming out, which I like to call arms. There's a total of five. Even though there's five, there's going to be a total of four nails that are gonna be placed in the wall. And those four nails are going to be hung by the stud in the wall. Once we have everything positioned and set up, we're going to be using the stud finder to find the stud in the wall. The reason why we're doing this again is because I wanted you guys to actually see this. We already had some markings on the wall, but I'm like, you know what? I want you guys to see how this is happening. So that way it can be like quite easy for you guys to do this. I knew building the shelf was going to be a little easy, but it was definitely time consuming. Is it worth it? 100%. The other tip that I want to share with you is don't put the marking for placement in the middle try to put it maybe about two to three inches to where the actual shelving is going to go that way when you start placing the nail into the stud you're not going to be covering uh, the writing that way you can see exactly where it's supposed to go this can be a one-man project but i ain't gonna lie y'all this thing was a little heavy so it's not something that i would want to do alone Again, I am so happy that Jamila was able to come out. She does projects similar to this. She does trim. So if you're in Atlanta and you're looking, please reach out to her. I'm going to be leaving her Instagram linked down below. As you can see, we definitely enjoyed ourselves and had an amazing time. I think 
that hole is probably going to be the same thing. We're not even done and I can tell you guys now I'm absolutely loving the shelves. What I'm doing now is going around with the nail gun and just securing small areas because we did use wood glue and even though we worked on it we didn't put it all the way together because we wanted to be able to make some adjustments if needed once we got inside. Something else that I want you to take a look at I centered the shelving to the wall and with centering it I used the tape to outline. That way I made sure that every single one of the shelvings were going to stay in line. Now, if you're doing this at home and you want to get really creative, you can put one to the left, put one to the right, center it, just to give it a really nice artsy look. The way that I'm doing it does not necessarily have to be the way that you do it at home. You can get creative. You can do a long 74 inch and in the middle you can do to a uh, 25 inch and then go ahead and do another 74 inch. There's so many ways to do this. For me personally, I was trying to solve a particular problem and that problem is I have about five boxes <laughs> full of books, full of decor, full of things that actually bring joy to my life and I wasn't going to be able to see it so I wanted the shelvings to go up that way I could at least see some of my home decor plus the wall was so big and I did not want to purchase another piece of wall art in this house I wanted to give it a new look and a new feel the video that I posted before with the art I could have done shelving in that room, but I felt like it was going to mirror the old house too much. So by separating each space and making it its unique room gave it a different design element. So keep in mind when you're working at home about these transformations also. But for right now, I am loving this and I cannot wait to paint you guys. All right, so you guys. Good afternoon. It is the next day, and so pretty much the shelving still isn't done. I actually have to take this down, paint the walls, and put it back, and then sand and paint this here. So I'm going to probably take this into the garage and do a coat of paint on it and everything like that. So, um, one of the things that I wanted to discuss is how is this feature wall renter friendly? Because I know some of y'all like, that's not renter friendly, blah, 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 but it is. And I'm gonna tell you how and why. If you're renting and you're not gonna be in a space for quite a bit of time, you can also, you can do this, and on top of doing this, you can use it in your next place. Unlike a bookcase or shelving or whatever, 
you can reuse this again. So as you guys saw, I just took everything off of this particular shelving. This floating shelf is considered a pro shelf. And what that means is it's not, I'm not really a fan of the ones that have the brackets underneath them. I feel like, I don't know, they just seem like a very quick situation. This looks a whole lot better. And once I paint it and style it and get everything together, you'll, you'll see it. The reason why this is rental friendly is because one, this piece comes right off. I'm not gonna nail it, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm gonna leave it as is, right? It's a little tight, it's a little tight, got, got wig a little, little bit. I'm going to take this one down so you guys can see the actual... I'm not going to take it down all the way because I'm here by myself. And then that means I'm going to have to take it down. I'm going to move the camera closer so you guys can see the brackets on the wall. Um, for those of you guys that may be interested in doing this project at home, I'm going to be leaving everything linked down below. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit because as you can see, the back wall is done in two by fours and so there is one two by four that's against the wall so basically you have the two by four that's against the wall right here and then you have what i call the legs which is a total of five and this offers support so when you're doing this you're going to do the two by four and then you're going to cut the legs all right but when you nail it, you're not nailing this piece to the wall, you're nailing it to the top of the wood. So all of this here is actually nailed to the wood. And you want to use um, wood nails. They're really long for support. The last two has two top and bottom here and here. And then these have one. So essentially, there is only one, two, three three and four nails on the wall and those four nails are attached to the actual beams that are in the wall so if you were considering doing a gallery wall it would be no different than if you were to hang a gallery wall which is why i say this is very renter friendly in terms of time it was time consuming but i would rather have a feature like this which i love than to do a gallery wall. And then when you're moving out, the only thing you really have to concern yourself with is patching those few areas, touching it up with some paint, making everything. That's why I said, this isn't really done. I have to take this down, take everything down, take the core down and everything that, sand it real nicely, paint this area, paint the shelving, and then add everything back on. And so when it's time for me to move out, things are going to be back. Um, <laughs> whenever I think of like renter friendly things, they're not the typical, you know, uh, small space solutions or anything like that. I remember a few years back, I talked to you guys about using your linear space. The way this house is set up, it's so rectangular that some of the walls are pretty wide and long longer than your standard wall if you were in like a square room, of course and so this wall right here if i'm not mistaken i think it's like 148 so there's no shelving there's no storage there's nothing and i came with so much decor because you know i had i had two bookcases in the previous house that you guys know my office and the ones in the living room and so i had nowhere to put those things and so i did want to be able to at least if I could open up at least one box and so this offered me that so I'm able to implement some of my decor in there and like I said I do think this is a really great way to do that the only thing that I am doing here that I would do differently in my own home is as you're installing this you would want to get I think it's called a brad nail and you want to just pop pop uh, to make sure it's secure then you want to wood fill it and then you want to caulk it all around that makes it a bit more permanent this is secured enough you see it's secured enough where it's to the wall 
nothing's going to happen to it. I'm only going to put a couple of pieces of decor in there. So I'm not looking for it to be like super structurally sound, even though it is because at this point it's on the support beams that are, you know, on the framing of the house. So again, I opted to do three. So the bottom of this here is at 30 and a half. Okay. So the table is 30. This is 30 and a half. So, if you're standing, and this is something to think about when you're doing space solutions, design, all of that, is if I stand over here, I can still see the decor. It's not too close to the floor. And I thought about possibly, potentially, if you, this is a thing to think about. If you're here, not here like in my house, but if you're at home and you're doing this and you want to create a bar area, this is really cute too. All you have to do is get the metal racks, put your glasses here, put two or three little chairs here. If you don't have a bar in your home, put three chairs, you know, small ones, you know, with the round, no backs. And then you can really have something where people can sit down. Because I know sometimes when you're renting, um, the home doesn't really offer a whole lot. The shelving is 12 inches deep. It is five inches uh, wide. And the overall length is 74. I'm almost positive of it. It's 74. Yep. So 74 long, 12 inches. It might be a little bit over 12, 12 and a half. So it's a really nice big situation. And again, considering the size of the home, I didn't want anything to look like too small, too chintzy. And I feel like this is something that can be repurposed in your kids' rooms. If again, you don't, you're in an apartment and you don't necessarily have a bar area or an area for a dining room and you want to have something, this is a really great idea. Again, the cutting, the process is a little time consuming, but you can use this as a, a thing you guys ignore this chair the kids have been here and when i say they have murdered this house in my upholstery but i'm excited because i'm gonna get everything clean park clean everything clean i just want to show you how this would work if you're in your home you know you see that and you can still eat you can have your drink you can converse you can still do that like i said I know right now in homes, considering I looked at so many different places, sometimes when you're looking for a, a, a space, things aren't always provided. When I'm done, you guys will see the finished project, but I wanted to at least start showing you guys some of the things that I'm doing. I'm not going to be doing a lot of these projects. Um, I was excited about this one because I know this is going to be going to the other house, so that was just a really great um, start. I think I have like one more thing that I'm gonna do because I've been looking for an office desk and I just haven't been successful at finding one. Everything is pretty expensive right now. And not only is it expensive, but it won't be here for like six months. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just do something very similar upstairs, but it's gonna be in the desk. So you guys are gonna see that. It's gonna have climbers, the whole thing. So I'm gonna do that with that space, but that's pretty much it for today, you guys. I'll be back. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me sand this down, paint it, get it ready, paint the walls, prep and all of that stuff to get this situated. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I think it looks really good. I love it. Because when you come through the front door, it, it does look really, really good. It does look really, really good here. So I'm excited for it. I think it looks great. But um, yeah, you guys, have a great one. I will see you guys next time.